Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many React developers encounter. Our viewer is facing an error that reads, react.createElement type is invalid, expected a string for built-in components or a class function for composite components, but got an object. Let's dive into the details of this problem and find out how to resolve it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. The error message indicates that React is expecting a valid component type, but it received an object instead. This usually happens due to incorrect import or export syntax. In your index.js file, you are importing the app component using require. However, in your app.js file, you are using the ES6 export default syntax. This can lead to issues when importing. To fix this, you can either change the import in index.js to use ES6 import syntax, or modify the export in app.js to use common JS syntax. If you choose to stick with ES6 syntax, ensure your environment supports it, or use a transpiler like Babel to convert your code. Finally, after making these changes, save your files and restart your development server. This should resolve the error and allow your app component to render correctly. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're encountering the error about an invalid type in React, one solution is to ensure you export your component correctly. Adding export before your class definition can resolve the issue. Additionally, check your router setup. Installing the latest version of React Out Router DOM might help if you're using routing in your application. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're encountering the error about react.createElement type being invalid, it might be due to how you're importing React in your subcomponents. This issue often arises when using Jest for testing in a TypeScript project. The problem occurs when you use import React from React instead of import Traro as React from React. This can lead to issues during Jest testing even if your app runs fine. Make sure to update your subcomponents to use the correct import syntax to avoid this error during testing. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Mixing ES6 modules with Node.js, CommonJS can be confusing. It's best to stick to one style. To better understand ES6 modules, the user created a sample app.
Let's now look at another user suggested answer. The issue here is related to circular dependencies in your code. This can lead to unexpected behavior, including the error message about invalid types. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.